بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم viewers welcome to our this series of videos in which we are showing you different tricks and different uh, tips for creating uh, your own dashboard and automated dashboard which is uh, uh, it does not require for on the user and anything uh, all they need to do is send the email and operate the dash dashboard and the scenario is that everybody has got some sort of the uh, activities which are due on his part if not done on a day or on a certain period then uh, you have to do it uh, double on the next time and that keeps piling on so uh, that's uh, uh, you that's uh, is uh, true for the people who are in the business uh, uh, working environment or those who are in some religious activities for example if a uh, prayer is uh, uh, supposed to be done on daily and uh, uh, not done on a day so it becomes over you and uh, next day you have to do it double and and similarly in the in the uh, business environment like uh, sales staff are uh, uh, going to visit a certain number of doctors or patients or or outlets uh, etc so if not done on one day so on the next day they have to do it double so uh, this is a simple uh, and uh, we have a simple application. Uh, it's a sample. Uh, can be used by a variety of uh, uh, of uh, users. They can use it uh, using the common database. Uh, well, the same same single database is serving all the numerous diversified uh, users across the world, and they can just send the email and get the their ac uh, account created, and then from onwards they can mention that um, how much of their backlog they have performed. So it lets you know what is the uh, status now after performing these things, right? So. Uh, let's uh, do a revision there, and then we get back to the backup and restore, uh, uh, which uh, which is being discussed in past few uh, videos, and we will continue. So uh, the importance of uh, uh, backup and restore uh, keeps on increasing as um, you have the significant uh, data stored in the in the database. So you want uh, this is a uh, as a part of the disaster recovery in case of any disaster. So you should have some mean to recover it from the backup, right? So uh, we have shown um, a way that uh, user-wise backup can be managed, and we give the um, the facility to the user to take their own backup and, and restore whenever they want. So uh, this is a sort of empowering the users. Yeah? They are not an ordinary user; they can perform some admin tasks like um, taking the backup of their their uh, uh, related uh, set of records in the database. They are uh, they are moved to the history, and uh, that is called backup. And uh, uh, sometimes they need it to be restored, so they should have uh, the the list of how many backups they have, and they should mention that please restore that day backup. So uh, through the email, all the it is done through the email. The 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 user does not have to do it. Uh, on our dashboard is configured that it is it is watching uh, the e incoming email if there is a command request from the user, so that is executed and reported back to the user. So uh, let's uh, do a performance of a uh, uh, backlog, right? So what we do here is uh, we go to the email and uh, uh, we go to here, uh, sorry. We go to the email rather, mm. Mm, Gmail. Mm, there is our Gmail, let's, uh, we are already signed in. It's okay, and we, we use the Gmail, mm. okay? And the Gmail, we, Go to the sent mail in which uh, we find the templates uh, which we want to execute. For example, we have most recently backlog clearance. For example, so this is a backlog clearance, and uh, we use it, and and we use this. For example, yeah, this is actually general uh, because I'm performing my prayers uh, five day days clearance of backlog on daily basis. So what I do is just I reply to it. I go to the subject. I this is. A step which can be curtailed. We do not need to do this. What I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. So since uh, I uh, I have yet to make sure that uh, uh, this is done uh, automatically instead of I have to do it. Okay, we will do uh, do the needful one for the moment. We are just uh, passing on this command to execute this request. What this request is it all about? It's uh, about about uh, the clearance of five days backlog for. My, for this user, right? for my user, right? So this will uh, reach to the Outlook. If you go see the Outlook and you uh, go to this, uh, that, this is the folder which is being uh, watched. Uh, the the system is watching if it is any incoming, income. yeah. So so uh, this is moved to, due to the rules. And now the Excel is going to take charge and it will execute this. You will see the name 
uh, ID, uh, name will be changed, the report will be changed, the figures will be changed, and you will see that the performance has been done for five days, one, two, three, four, five, you will see they will be listed. And which days, this system is going to decide which day. So first come, first serve, which means first, uh, the oldest, uh, oldest uh, uh, activity which was not performed, it is now being marked as performed, right? So, and it is uh, being uh, sent as acknowledgement to the user that your setup, your your request has been actioned for five days performance. It is done for the 11th of October. Today is 13th of October, so you can do one more thing so that uh, uh, you are at par. So that this is the rule that um, anything less than or before the yesterday, you can do the backlog periods, right? So, so we go back again to this and here we, yeah, we do it again. Reply and share, and we yeah, edit file, and we will remove this, and we say, okay, please, once more, do do this again. Hmm? So this is a, this is the command, and we remove all the extra things from here. Even this space in the end, and we say send. So this is again going to reach to this folder. And as soon as it reaches here, within 45 seconds, you would see the Excel with again perform a new uh, transaction means uh, yeah. So now the system is taking it and it is performing a new transaction. Now this is on 12th of October, right? On 12th of October, these five days have been marked as performed, which were due on 15th of June, 1979. They are now being performed on 12th of October, 2025. Okay, so this is the beauty of the system. Uh, it allows you uh, to clear your backlog before it's too late. And it's all, oh, it was a, uh, there is a room. And as long as, you know, I had a or uh, overdue part, this gray part, where it was uh, quite big now, since I am constantly doing it, so it's reducing. There will be, I look forward for the day when this will go away, this gray part, and uh, all the dues will be equal to the perform. So this, that would make this amount to be zeroed, right? So this is uh, one of the things which, now let's get back to how to take the, uh, another side of the backup. Uh, if you see in the uh, folder, which we are using, uh, that is our VBA folder, right? So this is the VBA folder and uh, it has, a, it has a backups folder also, which keeps a day wise backups, right? 28. Uh, 27th of September, we took a backup, and uh, 7th of October, we took the backup. Today is 13th. So, th we should make some plan uh, that this is this taking of the backup is done automatically. So, that uh, in case of uh, any, so, so this is a part of our disaster recovery. Uh, uh, in case of uh, any time when you want to revert back to the uh, previous backup, so we can do it. So, this is part of normally database management, and um, a good administrator, a good uh, uh, database handling uh, has a good uh, thought. Uh, well-planned uh, DRP setup with them. DRP, the disaster recovery plan, that includes all the backup and restoring. And think of it, uh, if uh, the database is corrupted and it's got uh, uh, damage due to any reason, due to virus attack, or there can be uh, some file corruption, physical sectors of the hard disk are damaged, or there can be so many things, right? So if you have the backup, then then your loss of time is minimized to considerable levels, right? So previously, we used to be doing this uh, activity manually each time what we do is uh, is uh, we create a new folder like this, right? And we say, VK, this is the naming convention, 2025. And then we do 10. So whatever we are doing, is this we should not be doing. This should be done automatically, right? So today is 13. So this folder should be, should get created automatically, first of all. And then uh, what it should do, it should get back to the VBA folder. And in here, we have the database. Hmm? We have the database, uh, if you see the database, uh, that is the XSDB file. So this is the, you will see the XSDB file and that is uh, named, mm -hmm. yeah, this one, this is the name because, so this was created date and this is the, uh, okay. So let me check it, how many files do we have? Uh, so that just to make sure that we are not confused with the with the file uh, file name, right? So there are two files. One file is this. The other file is this, right? This is updated on second of August. This is twenty seventh of July, right? And um, and if we 
uh, open the Microsoft Access. So what is the latest part of the file which we need to make a backup? We have to be very careful that uh, with, uh, while taking the backup that we get the right file to be back. That was on Wednesday and uh, just the day before yesterday. Uh, no, uh, Wednesday. Today is Monday. Okay. So this was uh, modified. This is the recent. Okay. And uh, that's fine. Wednesday is fine. So this is the most latest one. So this is the path to which uh, we want to get this file backup. Right. So what we do here, we open this folder, uh, file location. Mm -hmm. uh, so first of all, let's open it. So this is the, uh, and then we can uh we can do one more thing is that we use the compact and repair this is a uh, good at, uh, best practices that uh, you keep on doing it so that clears any uh, gaps uh, any uh, exceptions which might occur in the structure of the uh, database so they, these are cleared and these are made compressed okay and you get the size advantage as well right then what we do is uh, we take this uh, path of the cell. You see, user name, one drive, YouTube, VBA, and this cursor tracking dot ACC DB. Okay. So we take this file and we take a backup of it. So we go to uh, the VBA. Yeah, this is exactly what we, uh, and and here cursor tracking is this. This is the same. Okay. So, so this is the file. Mm -hmm. If whose uh, pen his who's uh, we should also be watch watchful that uh, this is indicating that sync is pending. Mm. That sync is pending, so it means you won't drive need to be. Mm. You'll be making it that it is uploaded. That's right, and it is uh, uploaded to sir. Right. Okay. So what we do here, we open this file. This is the right file. Okay. So. What we got to do here is uh, now we we take a backup of this file and we have to move it. Since we are making the backup, so we we uh, compress it to the zip file, send to compress zip folder, right? So once it is uh, moved there, so this is, it is now a very tiny file, right? You can uh, use this file and move it to the backup so so let's press control x here i'm moving it to the right folder and our folder is uh is in the backup tree so let's go to the backup these are the backup backups we have this is the uh, backup uh, uh, folder which we have created we paste it so so this all the step which we have done manually these we would show you that it is this can be done automatically to do it automatically uh, we query our uh, artificial intelligence in the in google right and the pilot the co-pilot and we wrote uh, what thing uh, what the query what we wrote the vba to create a zip file so we quickly uh, get to this folder at uh, this uh, tip which tells you how to work it the first thing you do is that you uh, uh, is the creation of an empty zip file um, the open and print commands create a uh, empty zip file with the necessary header right the next thing is that windows shell the shell application object is used to copy the files into the zip file and in the end we got to wait for the completion mm, a short delay ensures the operation completes before the script ends right so this is a uh, that's it. So the native notes are also very essential, and uh, we keep uh, an eye of all these important things which are being advised in here. That replace your path. Uh, uh, this is your target path. This is your source path uh, with your actual path, right? And then uh, you ensure the uh, the folder path ends with a backslash. Mm. The folder path, huh? yeah, the folder path ends with a backslash. Otherwise, uh, the uh, the system will cause an exception that the folder name is incorrect. Right? And this method uses uh, the default window zip functionality so it works without additional software so this wonderful thing so all you need to do is go to the google and type this and you will directly the copilot will take you to the right place and then you copy the code this is the uh, the code which has been highlighted so we say control c in here and we get back to uh, our system in the dashboard we go we press alt f11 and here uh, we can use this uh, module 4 to 
cuts and paste it, right? So here we have factory at the zip file. The thing is ready. And here we will fill in all this information and our backup will be ready. And uh, this will automatically create the zip file and will be saved to a desired folder. And then uh, uh, it will clear all the objects uh, and it will display whether the thing is done or not, right? So this is uh, admin activity. This does not require any email to be done. Yes, uh, e e uh, email from an admin user uh, can send this request so that this is done remotely, right? So we will do this as well, okay? So uh, stay tuned to our channel, inshallah. In the next uh, video, we will uh, we will do it. We will show you how to do this, uh, all the this thing exactly in a safe manner so, and that you, so that your backups and, uh, are, are automated. Uh, and they are done automatically. You don't have to remember yourself that uh, when to do and uh, how to do it. So uh, it will be done automatically. Thank you very much for watching.